and that is uh, Lin Zhao. And he um, got his PhD from the China University of Petroleum in Beijing and now works as a reservoir engineer at the China National Offshore Oil Corporation Research Institute. And Lin will today be telling us about a practical near wellbore modeling method for a horizontal well in corner point backgrounds. So Lin, the screen is yours, so please go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. It's my, I'm Lin, Lin Zhao. It's my great pleasure to be here to introduce my work about a new new robot modeling method for current well in corner point grid background. Uh, I have graduated from China University of Petroleum in Beijing, and now I'm a, a lab engineer at a research in institute of CNOC. I have a one-year visiting experience at the Computational Geoscience Group of CENTAF. And uh, during this time, I developed this new method and uh, published the codes as an MRT module NWM with the help of Knut and Rich, uh, Edgar Sten, Zavia, and Kai. Okay, I will first uh, introduce the background of the uh, new new verbal model method. Uh, during the production of horizontal wells, uh, some near nearby operations are required to enhance oil production, such as what shot treatment. Is it a fraction? Uh, so high resolution near robot flow description are required when we use this reservoir simulation to model these operations, operations. This means that we should use a near robot model instead of a standard piece one model because this model aims to at a field scale simulation. So fixedly, uh, there are several requirement, requirements for the near robot modeling, including the component grid background, the description of where trajectory near wobble radio flow and uh, preserve the far very great geometry and the feature of the, of the stratigraphic layers. Let's see the current near wobble model, near wobble models. Uh, according to the uh, LGR method, uh, we can classify this near wobble model into four styles, including the Cartesian style, uh, title, uh, tetrahedral uh, style, papigral style, and the radio style. Obviously, the radio style is the best option to model the near wall ball uh, radio flow. And uh, the radio style can be further classified into structural connection, 3D unstructured connection, and uh, uh, 2.5D unstructured connection according to the connection way between the component grid and the radio HW grid. Only the 2.5D unstruct connection can preserve the feature of the, uh, the ge geological layers. So uh, I think the radio LGR with the 2.5D unstruct connection is the best uh, near robot model method for its great respect to original geological features. But this, it has still has some re restrictions. Yeah, this method has been implemented in the Eclipse near wobble NWM module. Yeah, it still has three restrictions. Uh, the first is the uh, 2.5D unstructured, unstructured grid must call the whole reservoir thickness. Uh, this will lead to many unnecessary grid cells in layers far from the wells. And the second, uh, the grid quality is not so good when the well have a large angle of inclination. And second, the outermost radio grid is too large uh, compared with the radio cells uh, that we can see in this figure. Uh, therefore, the objective of uh, is improving improve the 2.5D unstructured near wobble model method. This will include building the 2.5D unstructured layer grid on the partial corner point grid layer and uh, build a high quality radio grid. And uh, uh, we can also, we also need to describe both the near robot flow and the flow inside the robot. Okay, let's say our new near robot method. Uh, now I will first introduce the grading part. Uh, we partition the whole flow domain into far region, near region, and the verbal region. 
the far well region is modeled by the original component grid and obey, obey the linear Darcy flow. The neural neural bond region region is further divided into the VOI region and the HW region. The HW region is modeled by the three-dimensional radio grid and obeys the radio Darcy flow. And the layer to structure grid models the VOI region uh, and connects the component grid with the uh, radio grid. And for the verbal region, we built the verbal grid to generate node and segment properties passed to the multi-segment wire model to describe the pipe flow. Okay, so the grading workflow is as follows. First, we collect the counterpoint properties in VOI region to build to build an un, uh, un, uh, unstructured layered VOI grid. And next, we collect the VOI grid properties in the HW region to build a three-dimensional radio grid. And finally, we build a verbal grid. And the functions and classes are listed as follows. Okay, before introducing the grading workflow, let's see the basic grading functions. Uh, all these uh, new three new grids are layered grids. Uh, we build them in two steps. First, we build a two-dimensional tensorization grid uh, by MRT function tensorization grid through providing the two-dimensional nodes and the connectivity list. Next, we use the we use this two D grid and the, the surface surface node con, surface node to build a layered grid. Uh, the surface node con, surface nodes set are topologically aligned in the layered direction to build the layered grid. Uh, yeah, I have read. I have written a new function make layered grid and WM to build such layered grid. The function is more flexible than the MRT function make layered grid, but it will not generate neighboring information. This can be obtained by the function compute compute geometry. Okay, next we build the unstructured VOI grid. First, we collect the uh, counterpoint uh, properties in the VOI. The VI is defined by a user defined 2D polygon inside which the 2D HW trajectory is located. And also, in what particularly uh, actual layer numbers above and below the layers uh, that HW occupied are required uh, to increase the freedom build, of building the radio grid. The counterpoint properties include uh, this, uh, this five five uh, properties and uh, each have their own usage when building the VOI grid. Next, let's build the build the VOI grid. The VOI grid consists uh, consists of a structure structured subgrid. Yeah, it, it is built along a well trajectory to connect with the connect with the uh, counterpoint point grid and the, the HW radio grid. And uh, it also consists, uh, it also includes a Veroni region, uh, a Veroni subgrid. Uh, the, the grid, the subgrid connects the, uh, the structured subgrid and the component grid. Okay, uh, the procedure is we first generate the structure nodes and the connectivity list. And the second, we generate the Veroni, Veroni nodes and the connectivity list. And the, after merging and nodes and mapping the connectivity list, we can build the two-dimensional two VOI grid, and then we can build the layered VOI grid through the 2D grid and the surface nodes. Okay, let's see the important, most important step when building the Voronoi subgrid. The basic, uh, <coughs> the basic Voronoi nodes and the connectivity list is obtained by the MRT function for processed generating point sites. The generating point sites including three parts. The first is the VOI boundary locate, locating points. Uh, this uh, we use uh, we use the, the centroids, the centroids of the corner point grid faces, and uh, the Voron diagram can be a approximately locate the counterpoint boundary nodes. Yeah, and the second, we use the intersections of cycle, cycles 
whose centers are boundary nodes. Uh, according to the pr principle, principle of Voronoi diagram, the Voronoi diagram can lock the boundary nodes accurately. Finally, uh, the mean generating points are inside the two locating, locating node, node sites, and they are generated by the dismatch to get high quality grade. Okay. Uh, and then finally, we assemble the three point sets and the cliff the diagram and the, the Voronoi subgrid can be built. Okay, next, uh, we build the radio grid. Again, we first collect uh, VOI grid properties in HW region. The horizontal value region is inside the structured region of VOI grid through the region indexes. And uh, again, the properties of the VOI grid can be collected each have their own uh, usage to build the radio grid. Uh, next, we build, uh, we start to build the radio grid. Uh, we propose uh, a new angular lines gradually vary from the uh, circular line to the rectangular line of a sympathetic box to avoid locality irregular cells of pure circular radio grid. Such lines are uh, cons consistent with the uh, is typical of, of pressure in a rectangular reservoir with constant pressure boundary and uh, uh, at, uh, arbitrarily locate where. See this figure, the new uh, gradual uh, grid has higher quality uh, than the pure circular grid, especially in the boundary for the boundary cells. And the last, we build the verbal grid the verbal grid is built inside the void region of the radio grid. And the geometries of the verbal grid is established uh, through the well structures and the downhole tools. Uh, taking this completion, this screen, screen completion as an example, it has two flow spaces, endless and the screen, and the two tools, packers and the blank pack. So we built a procedural radio grid uh, like this. Uh, to describe to describe this well structure, uh, the two types of grid cells describe the annulus and the screen and the, the faces can model the packers and the blank pad. Uh, the verbal grid is used to generate the properties passed to multi-segment well, and it will not be assembled into the final global grid. Uh, yeah, cells of the verbal grid correspond to the nodes and the faces of the verbal grid correspond to segments. The different faces have different flow models. Okay, after building this grid, we can perform the simulation. To be compatible, compatible with the MRT Black or server, we write uh, the workflow neural model or multi segment where NWM to generate necessary data structure passed to the MRT AD servers for the uh, NWM hybrid grid. The classes generate the following data structures, except for the fluid and uh, the uh, initial state, uh, which can be generated by the core function directly. Okay, first uh, is the global grid G. Uh, we, uh, we generate this uh, grid in two steps. First, we rem remove the component cells in VY region and uh, the VR grid cells in HWR regions by function remove cells. And next, we assemble these three reservoir grids by function assemble grids. Yeah, this, uh, this, this function uh, concatenates cells faces nodes from the subgrids to generate the global grids, but uh, it did not, do not merge com common faces and uh, does not handle the boundary intersections. So the flow between subgrids can be described by non neighbor connection from post-processing functions. Okay, let's say rock for the rock properties. We assemble three rocks of three, three sub rocks to the global rocks. Rocks of the component grid come from the input deck and the rock of radio grid come from the user. Uh, the rock of VY grid is obtained by interpretation, interpretation of Rock C. Before before in the in the preparation, we should transform the probability of Rock C uh, from from local coordinate coordinate to global coordinate. Uh, as for the model, we uh, the port, we use the generic black oil model or three-phase black oil model as a simulation model, and uh, we need to rewrite 
operators bypass the neighbors and transmit transmissibilities of global grid to function set up operators TPFA. The global trans T consists of trans of subgrid, three subgrid, and uh, the uh, connection between grids. Uh, the radio grid uh, use, use the radio transmissibility, uh, which is derived from the pressure distribution uh, within the grid cell. Yeah, this is the expression of the radio transmissibility. And though, uh, as mentioned before, we use the uh, non neighbor connection to bridge the flow between subgrades and uh, the boundary intersection relations between subgrades consists of matching intersections, yeah, including the component grid to wheel grid, the wheel grid to radio grid, the non matching intersections, yeah, just like this. Uh, and uh, the geometries of surfaces, yeah, it can, yeah, these surfaces. Uh, arise from boundary intersection are computed to compute transmissibility. And uh, the last, we generate a schedule. We update schedule their uh, dot uh, control dot w for the reconstructed well by modifying well cells and the uh, well indexes. The well cells is the cell with smallest radio indexes on each W grid layer and the well index is a half, radio half transmissibility of where cells to the wobble, uh, wobble wall. And uh, in, the, in addition, we generate node and the segment properties using the wobble grid and convert to the standard where structure to multi segment where tab to describe the wobble flow, just as follows. Uh, as I mentioned before, we generate node. Uh, uh, as mentioned before, we have, uh, we have divided the faces into seven tabs, and the each have four uh, have its uh, flow models, just like this. And the mean flow direction is the uh, uh, screen flow. It have four uh, four flow uh, pressure jobs. Okay, next uh, let's see the validation of our model. First is the radio transmissibility. We build a Cartesian grid with a circular boundary and a gradual radio. Uh, grid inside because the radio transmissibility is derived from the steady pressure dis distribution. The result of the steady state flow matches exactly with the reference. And uh, for the uh, compressible flow, the results also match well, except for the early stage, early stage flow. The early stage uh, is very short, maybe hours to days. And for field scale simulation, the steady trend is accurate enough, we think. Uh, yeah, and the next is the flow between subgrades. We build such a uh, hybrid grid uh, where the middle layers are Cartesian, triangular, Voronoi, Voronoi uh, radio grid, respectively, uh, and the upper and the lower layers are Cartesian grid cells. Uh, and uh, then the non matching faces are formed for these three, sub, three subgrades. We can see that the results match well with the reference. Uh, including the pressure versus height and the oil saturation. Uh, next is the near robot flow. We model a box reservoir with four injectors and a centrally locked current well. We build four models, including the, a background model, a uh, reference model, a global refinement, refinement grid, and we selected it as a reference model. And uh, uh, C and D is our model. Uh, C is the all layer model and the D is partition layer model. We can see that the liquid production along the well mesh well with the reference, uh, reference and also for the oil saturation and the pressure. And in, that, in addition, the grid cell number, the phase number and the simulation time is much more smaller than the reference grid. And then um, and the next, uh, we, we validate the dusty flow coupled with, coupled with the verbal flow. Uh, we model a box very well with bottom, extra, and the centrally locked uh, horizontal wear. Global refinement uh, grid combining multi segmental wear is used as a reference. We can see that the liquid production reach and uh, the verbal pressure along the wear uh, match well with the reference. And uh, the last, uh, I will display some 
applications. The first is the modeling of a real offshore horizontal well. Uh, we can see that the quality of our grid is better than the one built by the Eclipse and WL module. And the next is the uh, advanced modeling of well structures. First is the water control combination. And the next is the chemical injection. Um, intelligence completion. Yeah, uh, my presentation is earned. Thank you for listening on the MST group. Thank you. Thank you very much for a very nice talk, Lynn, and uh, for, I think, very impressive uh, coding. This is a really nice uh, module with uh, very impressive gridding features. Thank you. Um, if you would like to uh, turn on your camera, that would be very nice for the Q&A so people can see your face as well. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh. Now, everyone, it is uh, possible to ask questions to Lynn in uh, the uh, Zulip chat if you use the stream, which starts with WE1. Uh, we have one question already, and that is from Nikolai Andrianov, uh, and he asks, do you only consider single phase flow in the well bore, potentially with tracer? Uh, yes, it's possible to model tracer, and uh, we use the multi-second well to, to model the well bore flow. And it supports the three-phase flow, including water, oil, and uh, uh, gas. And we can also model the tracer uh, by the by right or multi-second well with I think the poly model we can modify the poly model to 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 implement this this yeah you can see the this uh, this chemical injection yeah, this is the 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 multi-second well with the polymer. Yeah, I think it's possible to, to model tracer inside the robot. Very good. I think if you're able to model polymer in the well bar, you should possibly also be able to model tracer <laughs> quite easily, right? Yes. Yes. Um, so there are currently no more questions in Zulip, but uh, I have a question uh, or yeah. maybe rather a, a comment. So you mentioned in the abstract uh, and when you, when you listed module dependencies, you listed the uh, UPR module uh, that we saw Runa and Lee Berge presented yesterday uh, because you had some very nice PEBI type or Voronoi grids uh, in your slides. So maybe you can comment a little bit on how you have used uh, or if you have used any functionality from that module, or if you have uh, implemented that yourself. Yeah, I, uh, I implemented it by myself. I use this function. Uh, uh, can you see the slide? Yes. Uh, I use this function to, to generate the world new nodes and the connected list. To, to build a Voronoi grid. Yeah, I use the dismatch package from the UPR module. Yes, very cool. Okay, so it's, uh, as I said, possible to, uh, to ask questions in Zulip. And uh, Lin, if you uh, are able to keep an eye on the chat in uh, Zulip throughout the symposium and potentially also in the coming week, so that we can continue the discussion and if people have any questions to your yeah. uh, module and, and your presentation, that would be great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much.